Hi, this is Beata from Split Coast Dampers. In this video, I want to show you the basics for the wax paper resist technique. In my sample, I used it for the background as well as for the butterf butterfly. The stamps in the sample are from Technique Tuesday's Winging It set. First, you will need some uh, wax paper and then just crumple it up and smooth it back out. Now you'll have these lines and that will be on your glossy cardstock later. Um, add some glossy cardstock, put the, the wax paper down and then put another glossy on top of it. That way you get two background sheets in one time. Take your iron, I'm having, a, I'm using a craft iron. You can also use your home iron just use it without steam and make sure you iron it real well and then take it off and I don't know if you can see it but the pattern from the wax paper is now imprinted on your glossy cardstock then you can use a brayer or a blending tool and apply some ink here I'm using wild honey from Distress Ink from Ranger and now just take a paper towel or a rag and buff over your sponged area to take away the excess ink that was sitting on the wax part of the paper. Now you can either, I already created one piece and you can just use that as a background or you can stamp directly on it using stays on. When stamping on glossy cardstock, just be careful because it is slippery. And just stamp down and pull straight back up. And then what I did here is I cut it out. I don't want to show you. It takes too long. Sponged some more red on the edges and buffed it again and finished my card. I hope you try it out. It's fun, it's easy, and it gives your uh, background or image a unique look. See you next time!